My name is John Franklin Douglas. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, retired from the VA Medical Center here in Salisbury, North Carolina. A homeowner, I'm telling you something, that's a powerful, powerful, powerful thing to be. But it's not just owning a home. It's learning and knowing how to maintain that and to, and to keep a good credit score and, and what you need to do and how to stay out of debt. And they taught me a lot about finances that I never do and still have a lot to learn. But they're there at the end of the phone anytime I need them. In 1941, First Legacy Community Credit Union started here in Charlotte, North Carolina as School Workers Federal Credit Union with its mission to serve black educators and administrators. The credit union was actually started in the basement of Jefferson E. Grigsby and his wife, Perry. When I first met him, I was very impressed with him because I could see that he was, he was a very caring person. He, um, he was cordial, he was warm. And, but most of all, he was professional, he was businesslike. And that impressed me because, you know, when you, when you invest in your money, whether it's a, a million dollars or ten dollars, you want to make sure that whoever you are investing with, you want to feel very safe in doing that. And I felt very safe when I left it. Although it was in the basement of his home, I still felt that it was a safe investment that we had made. And, so my husband and I went down to the basement of Mr. Grigsby's home and decided we were going to deposit our two little dimes that we had in there and uh, take a chance on it. And it was very rewarding since that time for us. Uh, back then it was called uh, School Workers Federal Credit Union. And uh, I went there. I was a pastor of a church, but I didn't have any credit per se because I basically hadn't done anything. And so uh, what happened was I, I was able to get a house where I could assume a loan. And so that was my first involvement with that. Uh, down through the years, though, we've been members uh, ever since uh, 1975. I truly loved serving the members of this community because I felt like we had developed um, a trust amongst ourselves. Because as a people, we don't just readily reveal and want to talk about our financial affairs. We want to kind of hold back some. And it takes a lot to gain that trust. Once the credit union physically left Mr. Grigsby's house, it moved into rental space on Fifth Street. So we were there for a while and then in in uh, 1985, I believe, the board decided that we wanted to have our own space and our own identity. Then we had the renovations completed and we moved to this little house there on Betis Fort Road, 4, 431 Betis Fort Road. And it still really looked like a house, but it, it, it gave us an opportunity to have a place to start from. Our membership, uh, when I started, uh, we had uh, 792 members. When I left, we had over 10,000. Uh, we were considered the largest minority-owned credit union in the state of North Carolina. We went, our assets were about 1.5 million when I started. Uh, when I left, we were over 50 million. Being a black financial institution was a, it gave us, it gave the blacks a sense of pride and also it gave them a sense of security because they had, they felt that if you could not get um, help, so to speak, any place else that you could always depend on your own, all things being equal. Yes, ma'am, you do as well, thank you. First Legacy was always there to help the community. Uh, people didn't have credit scores like, we weren't taught about credit and what credit means to you once you get older in life. And uh, right now, you know, credit, it, it tells everything about a person. 
And so uh, we was able to help. I saw my negative financial situation began to turn into a positive right before my very eyes, even though it took a couple of years. But I saw it happening and, and it excited me and it encouraged me and I kept it going. On January 1st, 2020, First Legacy Community Credit Union merged with Self-Help Credit Union. We felt that our members could get some services from Self-Help that we as a small minority credit union could not offer and it would be beneficial to our membership to merge and to offer them all of the services that they could get, you know, from being a part of a larger credit union. First Legacy has really been a big help to this community. It has really served this community well. And I am very happy to have been a part of that, that uh, board. And I'm still a member of the credit union. And I still have my $2 in there. <laughs> we are honored to continue to bring First Legacy into the self-help family as our missions are the same, to create economic opportunity and to help our members achieve their financial life goals. Actually, they not only just took my money, but they, they counseled me uh, and made me feel good about what I was doing by, by telling me how great it was and, and they wished that more people would consider restructuring their financial lives and do the things that I'm doing.